pleasure to see you. Thank goodness you're safe. I'm still looking for my own purpose. It's not easy by any means, but it's what I must do. It's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms, then. The girl you bore here, she's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So, I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Back already. No matter. Lay out your arms. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, and goodness knows that would be a surprise, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. already. No matter. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? for persuading Master Hugh, I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish, but if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'd like to ask you a small favor. Can you take this little one along with you? They can't be summoned here, but the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little one. Ah. 